Welcome to another episode of Game Tape with Tony. As always, I'm your host, Tony Ferrari from the Hockey News. And today I'm proud to be joined by Swedish Ford Otto Stenberg. How are you doing today, Otto? I'm doing good. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, no problem. It should be really fun getting to know you a little bit and uh, talking a little bit about hockey. And I'd like to start off with where you got started. So who got you into hockey and, and where, when did you start playing? Uh, my dad. Uh, and it was when, when I was... Four or five, I think I started, and uh, yeah. All right. Now I know you have two younger brothers that play hockey as well. Have you been able to kind of give them a little bit of advice as you're a little bit older than they are? Yeah, of course. I think they they uh, they wanted to do the same as me, so we played together when we was younger, and uh, yeah, play at uh, the backyard and stuff like that. So yeah. Now, you just got back from the U18s where you captained the Swedish team to a silver medal. What was your big takeaway from that performance? Uh, I mean, it was a lot of fun. Uh, really, really fun to play for your for your country and to be to be the captain. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really proud of that. And, uh, yeah, just fun and a great experience. Now, as a Canadian, I have to bring up the fact that you guys beat the Canadian team twice, both times pretty solidly. What was it like being able to take on a team like that and just be able to play as well as you guys did in those games? I mean, I think uh, eight nothing is nothing that we expected <laughs> before the game. Uh, it was, it was sick. It was, uh, yeah, we played really good and, uh, yeah, eight nothing. That's that's that that doesn't sound uh, <laughs> that good, but uh, yeah, it, it was good and. Uh, now, you tied William Nylander's record for scoring by a Swedish player at the U18s. What does kind of getting that accomplishment mean to you? Uh, of course, it's it's really fun and something that I'm really proud of. And, uh, yeah, just fun. I, I mean, uh, William is a, is a good player today. So, yeah, that's just fun. Uh, this season, you played in the SHL, the J20, and the J18 a little bit. All for Ferlunda. What was it like adjusting to each level of hockey? I mean, when you're playing in SHL against men, there's a lot of they are a lot stronger and faster than you, so you have to to think more and you use your head more. Uh, and in the U twenty or U eighteen, then you can play more with the puck and play play power play and, and box play and stuff like that. So. That's the the different you between uh, those levels. Now, before we get to some game tape, I've got a lot cut last couple of questions for you. Is there an NHL player that you try to model your game after? Maybe take some things from. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm watching. I'm watching Sidney Crosby a lot. I like uh, Gabriel Landeskog too. Uh, he's a good leader and he's a two way forward. Uh, and I like that, so I'm I'm watching these these two a lot. Now, hopefully, in a couple of years, you'll be playing in the NHL. Is there someone that you're you're excited to go play against? Uh, I mean, it it will be really cool to to play against McDavid uh, if it is possible someday, uh, because I I remember when when he came to to the NHL and I. I've seen every every season from from McDavid, so yeah. All right, before we get to the game tape and some video, I'll bring up. Can you give us a little bit of a self scouting report? Kind of tell people what how your game is played. Uh, I should say that I'm a, a two way forward. Um, I can play in the in the in the D zone, uh, but I think I have my best skills in the in the offensive zone to to, to create. Uh, yeah, some good offense for for myself and for, to set up my my teammates and my linemates. So, yeah, that's a little bit of me. All right, let's get to the first video I have for you, and it's against Team Canada in that first game. You open the scoring in the game with this really nice play uh, going up the ice. You cut to the middle, kind of evade two defenders there. On a play like this, what are you thinking and what are you seeing on the ice? Uh, I sort of have more speed and than the first d out there and i just tried to take the puck into the middle and and we had some some good drive by by edstrom i think so it was pretty open i just 
yeah, try to shoot and really good screen uh, in front of the goalie. Uh, so yeah, good good drive uh, by by Edstrom. Now you mentioned David Edstrom there. He's a guy that I think a lot of people caught on to at the the under eighteens. What it was it like playing with him so much at the U eighteens? I mean, he he's good uh, on small stuff like yeah, driving the net and win win back win back the puck and back check four check and stuff like that. So it's re- really easy to to play with him, and it's yeah, I like that really much. All right, now the next clip I have for you comes from the second Canada game that you guys played. You score a goal here, deflecting the puck and then kind of collecting the rebound and scoring on the second chance. You're a guy that isn't the biggest player out there, but you get to the middle of the ice with consistency. What does it take for you to kind of be the player that is in the middle of the ice, even if you aren't necessarily the biggest or strongest guy yet? I mean, a lot of goals is scoring in front of the net and in situations like like that. So I just... When I saw that the D's had a puck, I just tried to find a way into the net, and uh, yeah, I got a good good rebound there, and yeah, just just the score. Now we mentioned you played in the SHL this year, so making the adjustment back down to the U18 level for a tournament like this, were you able to take certain things from the SHL experience that you had to kind of bring to this tournament and, and take advantage of things? Yeah, I mean, uh, some of the D's. In, in this tournament was was really strong and, and big and that's the that same as the SHL and uh, you have to 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 fight hard to to get into the net and uh, yeah that's one thing that I'm took from took from the SHL to 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 this tournament to get yeah, a physical play against yeah these now this next clip I have for you is from the SHL. It's your first SHL goal. You make a really good play along the wall here to kind of turn back up ice, make a pass into the, and then get to the middle of the ice again. Again, getting the deflection, then banking the puck off the goalie here off the side of the net. What was it like scoring your first goal in the SHL? I mean, it was it was fantastic. Uh, I've always been been watching Frölunda and uh, had to score at the home arena in yeah, in SHL, it it was fantastic. It was a night a night to remember for for me and for for my family too. Now it it comes from you doing a lot of the little things the right way. You go along the boards, you make space for yourself, get to the middle of the ice, and then just follow up the puck. Playing with Forlunda, it's obviously a really good program. A lot of high end NHL players have come out of there. What do you think makes Forlunda such a special program? I mean, uh, everything is good from. From the physical training to to the food and to to every every ice practice, you have a lot of good coaches, and I think the whole system is working really well with with school and with with uh, yeah all the trainings, games, and also the rest. So I think they have a really good system, and everything is working really well. All right, this next play I have for you is from that same game. You make a really good play in the defensive zone here to help get the puck out, and then you make a great play as the puck goes up the ice. What kind of goes into you being such a good player in the offensive zone for the Swedish team or for the for London team? I mean, um, in the beginning of the season, and I didn't play that much. I was extra forward and just maybe one, two shifts and, then in the middle of the season, and I start playing in fourth line or third line, and then you you feel more confident for yeah every game, and then you can start doing that the things that you're doing in in the U twenty. Uh, but it's important for me as a, as a young player to to start to playing good in in the D zone, uh, so the so the coaches can trust me, and then I can after that then I can start doing my my things in with the puck in the in the offensive zone. Now I think that's such an important point, being good in the defensive zone and earning that ability earning that chance to do things in the offensive zone. Going from the junior ranks to the SHL, how big of an adjustment was it for you and in and, and how much time did it take for you to kind of get the hang of playing it with men? Uh I mean it was it was a big, a big difference. Uh, in the beginning, I, I feel that, um, uh, it, it felt that you had 
uh, it felt that you didn't have that much time as you had. I think you you have more time than you think you have. And I was maybe in the first game I was a little bit nervous, and you you just try to play as easy as you can and don't don't lose the puck. Uh, and then when you when you have played some games, then you feel that I I can do my things here and it it works. So that's one one big thing that play more relaxed and yeah, just have fun. All right, this next clip I have for you here is from the J20. You make a really nice play in the four check here behind the net, just kind of collecting the puck, and then you make a great pass out to the front of the net. As a playmaker, you do a lot behind the net. You do a lot from the outside. What do you think makes your ability to set your teammates up special? Uh, I don't know, really. I think this situation, the D is turning into me, and I... I took the puck and I saw saw my teammate coming from from the bench and I just tried to to go around the net and put a puck in into him. Uh, but I think I always just try to have my head up and uh, watch where where my teammate is uh, before I got a puck. So then it's easy to 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 do something good uh, when you got the puck if you if you have watched one or two times before to to see where 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 your body is now obviously kind of using your speed using your skill in establishing body position like that is really really important um at any level the shl the j20 or anything like that how do you use your speed and skill to play good off of the puck defensively or on the forecheck like that I I think I just tried try to read uh, how how I should thinking in that situation, if uh, and just see where 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 the where the players are looking and yeah how they are doing with with the stick and where they have the puck and just try to be be sharp and be be aggressive to 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 take the puck or to sometimes hit someone or. All right, the next clip I have for you here uh, is a good play where you do a good job of uh, finding some space in the, in the neutral zone, getting into the offensive zone, and then just kind of winning the battle along the boards, kind of keeping the puck in your own possession, getting to the middle of the ice and making a great pass, and you get the assist here. Getting to the boards and winning those little battles that aren't always the easiest thing to do. You're getting roughed up. You're getting pushed around. What have you done maybe in off ice training or, or even just on the ice to get better at that aspect? I think yes, the game around the boards, there's something that we are working a lot of uh, on the morning practice before, before school uh, with Frölunda. Uh, so I think sometimes you can use your skates to, to put the puck forward with with your skates and to to have the hands on the on the board to to don't fall uh, and just when you have the hands on the board then you're you're stronger and uh, yeah just to sometimes I think I'm doing doing that in in that clip to, to just put the puck with with the skates forward uh, and that can can help a lot for because the D's there just trying to take away your stick or or hit you so there's a good help to do all right that's the last video i have for you so let's get uh the last few hockey questions out of the way and then we can kind of move on to getting to know you a little bit off the ice it's obviously your nhl draft year do you pay attention to the the draft rankings and the coverage of the draft or is it something you've got to keep out of your mind uh of course you you're seeing it and i mean i i'm on social media so so of course sometimes it's it's popping up something something and but I don't I don't thinking at it so much. I just try to focus on, on my thing and to doing the best out out of every day. So yeah, that's my yeah. All right. Now if an NHL scout asks you why should we draft you, what's your answer gonna be to that? Uh I think I'm I'm a player that can be used in a lot of different situations. I can play in, in D zone and I can play in O zone and also PP and yeah, penalty kill. Uh, so I think I'm a player that can that you can have in yeah every line and uh, yeah. 
All right. Now let's get away from hockey. If you could play any Olympic sport, even if you've never played the sport before outside of hockey, what would you play? Uh, I will play golf. That's fair. A lot of guys like to play golf. Yeah. Uh, if you could put yourself in any movie or book or a fiction, like a made up universe, Star Wars or Marvel or something like that, which universe would you put yourself in? I think Star Wars. That's fair. That's a cool one. Uh, do you have a hidden talent? Oof. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, what music are you listening to right now? Oof. There's a lot of Swedish rap that's really popular in, in the locker rooms. Uh, but also UK rap and uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a go-to karaoke song? A song that maybe you sing on in the car or something? Uh, I don't know. I like Party in the USA. That's that's a good one. So that's a that's a fair that favorite, one. right? Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite meal, and what dessert are you having having afterwards? I think maybe uh, pasta and uh, meatballs. And uh, that's really, really easy to do. And yeah, that's a good one. I liked it. And what dessert are you having? Are you having cake? Are you having a brownie? What's your go-to dessert? Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, a cake. That's, that's always good. All right. Before we get you out of here, can you give us a movie or a TV show to watch? Oof. Uh, I talked a little bit of golf before. I like Happy Gilmore. I watched it, yeah, a few times. So that's a good one. I like that one. All right, Otto. Thank you very much for doing this. This was a lot of fun, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much.